Hello, my name is Susan Backstrom, and I'm going to share with you a few scriptural evidences of the intoxication of the Holy Spirit. In other words, toking the ghost. Um, in the Old Testament, there was there was a couple of uh, examples of this. Isaiah 40, verse 7, it says in um, the new in the NIV. It says, the grass withers and the flowers fail because of the breath of the Lord blows on them. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of, the, of God stands forever. And in Jeremiah 23, 9, he is, he is overcome by the Spirit of God. It says, concerning the prophets, my heart is broken within me. All my bones tremble. I'm like a drunken man, like a man overcome by wine because of the Lord and his holy words. Because the land is full of adulterers, because of the curse of the land lies parched. And the pastors in the desert are withered and the prophets follow an evil course. It's the, the evil prophets and he is being overcome by the spirit of the living God. In, in so many words, he is, he is being delivered into the consuming fire. It, it says in Deuteronomy 4.24, For our God is a consuming fire. And Hebrews 12.29 reiterates this. It, it, it interprets the consuming fire. When you are being consumed by the Lord Most High, it is utterly impossible to, to demand His control be given to you. It is, it, is more, it is more benevolent and better for your, for your, for your relationship with Him for the freedom that he offers to, to be completely overcome by his presence. It is more honest and it is more reasonable. As Romans 12 says, it is, it, it's, it's our reasonable or spiritual act of worship. It's just reasonable. It, it, it is the most reasonable thing to be completely overcome by 2,000 year old grace. It is, it is legitimate for, for humans to be, to be conditioned to the spirit of the living God. It's what, it's what happened at Pentecost, Acts 2. It, it says that, that they were overcome by the spirit of the living God. They went out and spoke with boldness in, in, in foreign languages. Well, it says it's, they, they spoke in tongues. So, um, those are some of my teachings on the overcoming power of the Holy Spirit. It is, it, I have some questions for the, for the people. I say, why not prophetic words? Are, are prophetic words deception? Are, are they full of deception? Is, is it possible that the Spirit of God would deceive? And I also have another question. Why only one week? God is really unhurried about these things. He's been dealing with the church for 2,000 years. He's not in a hurry to demand us to come to, the, come to his aid and come to his, to his uh, protection. Anyway, that's my thought. God's blessings. And God's riches for everyone who listens to this. And have some intoxicating 2,000-year-old 200-proof grace.